Hi Water Signs, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your bonus reading for all the water signs out there. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. If you like a private reading, all the information is down below in the description box as well as the link to the Amazon link to my book, Putting Back the Pieces. Check it on out. It's a cool book. All right, so we are going to start off first for the sign of Scorpio. Spirit, please show me what does a sign of Scorpio need to know? Searching the answers. I just heard that. You have the moon. You have the judgment. You're making a decision with the two of wands and a new beginning. Woo! Wow. Okay. That's pretty powerful, Scorpio. Uh, the moon is known for kind of in the dark about things, a little confused as well what to do. What you're going to do is start listening to your intuition. You're going to listen to spirit. You're going to turn to source here. You're going to make a decision and show that action towards source here for a new beginning. Uh, that new beginning I do feel is to help release the confusion over love I'm feeling. Clarify that moon. Yeah, you got the higher font. I feel that somebody is fed up basically in regards to a relationship. You're going to start listening to your intuition. That's good. That's always good. Okay, uh, definitely. Uh, and start anew, you know, in regards to branching out, moving away from that. You see how the hand of the higher font's like, nope, no more. Not going to deal with the past no more. Nope. I'm going to turn to source. I'm going to listen to my own intuition here. I'm going to show the action by doing so, healing my energy and having a whole new start in regards to moving away from an old scenario to a new relationship in the future. All right. Interesting. Love it. That's awesome. Healing is always a good thing, whoever that was meant for. Cancer. What does a sign of cancer need to know, Spirit? Please show me. King of Swords, you could be dealing with air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Hang on. They want a certain one. I hear you. Okay, good. You can take that one too. All right. Okay. Wow. A lot of similar energy with uh, Scorpio here you could be dealing with. A uh, little stubborn, somebody's little stubborn lack of communication I just heard as well with that queen, king of swords here. Uh, moving away, okay. Uh, now, keep in mind in regards to what? The stress level of it. You see how you have the eight of swords right here? Well, there's the nine of swords right after that. That's an increase. That's good. That's what you want to do. Uh, you ever hear the term where you have to get, reach bottom level before you can start rising to the top? I probably put a little extra words in there. That is my Libra self speaking. Uh, but yeah, definitely. But that that's what you want. You want that increase. You know, it's getting to the level where you can't take it anymore in regards to someone who is kind of snubbing, not talking to you, ghosting, okay? And you're heading towards a new start of balance. Now, is it an overnight thing? Absolutely not. Healing t does take time. Five of Pentacles is getting out of that, is moving away from an old situation to rebalance yourself. It's going to take time. You see how these people are having cold feet, you know, out in the snow. They're slumped over. The poor kid's on crutches. You know what I mean? So they're going slow, and it's it's normal procedure Exactly. They're making me put, sorry, they cut me off. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles plus the Five of Pentacles, that's that even give and take. Give to yourself. You've given to this person who has basically ignored you, okay, and has ghosted you, you know, and I feel that there's that level that is rising with the intensity of the mental anguish to where you're going to say, look, I'm just done. That's what I feel. And that you're going to give to yourself again. Some of you, I just heard spa treatment. <laughs> Good for you. I wish I could do that. Uh, but definitely, I feel that that is your agenda. Eye on the prize here to work on your energy. Very similar energy to uh, Scorpio. So you could have Scorpio in your chart as well. You can check that out too. Really strong. All right. Pisces. Here, please show me what does the sign of Pisces needs to know.
There we go. Knight of Swords could be dealing with air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aw. Somebody's coming back after quite an ordeal of waiting two nights. That's a long time coming back here. Uh, but it's literally heading towards the Five of Cups. So uh, it could be kind of sneak attack towards you, I feel. Yeah, they're definitely... Oh, look at that. Oh, that is nice, Pisces. All right. Let's talk, Deb. All right, so somebody is coming back. They want to fix things. I really feel that even more so. You got the justice right at the end. Libra energy does not have to be, but that's making things right, okay? Fixing it. Uh, you know, that's my favorite expression. It's been a long time, but I do feel that there is an apology owed. Uh, balance being brought back into this. A new love offer coming in for you and to basically fix it right out there. Love those kind of messages, but I do feel that you miss them greatly as well with that Five of Cups. Definitely sneak attack in regards to not expecting this suddenly coming in. So nice energy, good spread, Pisces. And that's what I have for not just Pisces, but for all the water signs out there. You guys rock. Have a great one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.